Here's the new Peugeot 208, which I've bought as my new teaching car. Superlative it is in terms of handling, economy, looks, I think, but then I am biased. My first uh, ever car was a Peugeot 205, which I was very pleased about. This one's less than a year old, um, about uh, £6,000, £7,000 cheaper than a brand new one. Uh, it's a three-cylinder diesel engine developing 92 brake horsepower. It has 40% higher power to weight ratio than the uh, previous teaching car, the Ford Focus. As you can see, five doors. Um, I've had a higher car uh, to use while the Focus had been off the road, which had about 14 things that weren't quite ideal from my point of view. Um, but this solves all but two of them. This car hasn't got a heated front windscreen, which is a shame but uh, not something that's a showstopper and it hasn't got extra curvature on the wing mirrors but that's not a massive problem um, it has got differently shaped wing mirrors that uh, do counteract blind spots Alex is now going to open up the car and uh, uh, if you want to open the door Alex I'll then take pictures of the, um, the inside so here's the cockpit Nice seats, very supportive, beautiful instrumentation, small steering wheel, very tactile, attractive to, uh, to touch. Do you want to get in, Alex? And then I'll get in the passenger side, or the instructor's side, as I like to call it. Tinted windows, as you see, full-size uh, spare wheel, unlike the Corsa. Fully adjustable seats. As I say, beautiful uh, aesthetics on the inside, but also um, practicality is fantastic. Start-stop technology, um, mood lighting, nice stereo system, touch screen. You can see it saying Peugeot stop and start system for saving fuel economy. And we've got uh, music, internet, um, apps, photos, anything that you uh, you wish to um, have on that screen. Cruise control, speed control. Do you want to turn the ignition on, Alex, just so that the lights show up? You can even start the car. And it's got a, a tyre warning, warning light on for some reason at the moment, um, which it's warning me about. Um, the brightness for the instrumentation is turned up by pressing this button. So there you go. You can see uh, what the instruments are telling you. Um, we've got indicator and lighting controls here. They're on auto at the moment. On the other stalk on the other side, we've got windscreen wipers. Horn pad in the middle, window controls and mirror controls down underneath the interior door lever. Um, climate control. Uh, set at 20 degrees, we can heat things up on either side or cool things down by pressing that. Hazard warning light, um, automatic locking of doors which operates automatically when you drive away. Um, Demisting, which will bring on the fan and uh, automatically bring on the air conditioning too. Uh, manual fan speed controls, low, high recirculation of air inside the cabin and direction of airflow. The gear lever has five forward gears, one reverse. Reverse is in the position it used to be in my old Peugeot 207 which is across towards the driver and then backwards. Um, handbrake, usual position. Um, speed limiter and cruise control are down here. Um, you've got radio controls here. Search and volume and on the other side you've got telephone controls which is all very excellent so if I actually press the touch screen um, we can go into audio settings um, adjusting bass and treble and different uh, graphic equalization settings we've got a menu setting as well we can go into telephone my phone is bonded to um, this car but I haven't yet worked out exactly how to um, get the internet on this phone which I believe you can do 
Uh, yes, you can press internet, but um, I haven't downloaded any of the Peugeot apps yet to uh, um, enable me to make best use of this. Um, home and menu again. Um, settings. Yes, yeah, so just for setting uh, audio and time and date and languages. Um, and then driving, I think, gives you um, the range of your car, the fuel economy, um, I presume, with eco at the bottom there, how many minutes and seconds you've saved of fuel that you've used. Uh, trip information, average miles per gallon. This engine, 1.6 HDI um, diesel, will return about 80, I think, just under 80 miles per gallon around town, which is just remarkable. You can preset some cruise speeds if you fancy that. Um, and if I go back, uh, vehicle settings, um, how you want your welcome light in your um, rear windscreen wiper to uh, behave, that sort of thing. So there we go, the uh, Peugeot 208, really quite superlative. I look forward to teaching you in it.